Ghana in 2015 entered into an agreement with power producer Ghana Power Generation Company GPGC for the provision of a fast track power generation plant. This was at the time the nation was experiencing energy crisis. Following the change in government in 2017, a decision was taken to terminate the agreement since the nation risked spending more on power it did not require. The company dragged government to an international arbitrator who ruled that the termination was unlawful. GPGC has since been trying to enforce a $140 million judgment debt by seeking to sell major properties belonging to Ghana located in the United Kingdom. This includes the Regina House, which houses the Ghana International Bank in London. Former Power Minister Dr. Kwabna Donko had publicly stated that the former Energy Minister Boache Jaku had questions to answer. Boache Jaku has issued a statement arguing that the decision to terminate the deal was one taken by cabinet, but the Pro East Member of Parliament is still not impressed. He signed a letter of termination. Any minister has responsibility for what he signs. The committee members are not here to tell us what he informed. In any case, advice has always never been binding. Advice remains advice. You take the ultimate decision. It is your responsibility. He wants a probe into the matter. First of all, I call for two inquiries. The president might institute an internal inquiry to unravel what led to this. Cabinet is advisory to the president. Then at the level of the legislature, since the decision to terminate was taken by the executive arm of government, it is the legislature that has oversight responsibility over the executive. We also have to set up an inquiry. Ghana's High Commissioner to the United Kingdom meanwhile says it is working with the finance ministry to ensure that the debt is paid to avoid the sale of the properties.